Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Raven. Thank you for stopping by. Um, today, it is Sunday afternoon. I just got home from church and I decided to hit the drugstore up early this week because I am on the hunt for the new Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. I want to see just how good the stuff is. I've heard some really good reviews about it um, and everybody is saying if you have oily skin, you may not like it. Well, I have some oily skin and I want to test it out to see how well that theory holds up. So, unfortunately, they did not have it at my CVS and I don't really like to shop at Walgreens. I mean, I will, but I just, the CVS reward bucks, they're my favorite. So, I got a nice little haul for us today. I thought I'd go through what I picked up and so if you're interested to see what's in my drugstore haul, stay tuned. First things first, I'm on my list. All right, so we talked last week about my empties and that I ran out of my moisturizer. So I love Laura Lee's channel and she always talks about the Garnier Moisture Balm. So I thought I would check that out. It is another gel moisturizer. So let's dig in. Oh God, it's very similar. Okay, this is the Garnier Moisture Balm. It says this antioxidant super moisturizer. It's got hyaluronic acid. <gasps> I love this kind of stuff. It's so cooling on the skin. It feels really nice. All right, well, I'm going to be testing this stuff out this week, and I will let you guys know what I think about it. And actually, this is so the Neutrogena. Hydro Boost Gel Moisturizer is $19.99. This was $16.99. And then at checkout when they, you know, if you go to CVS, they print out all the coupons on the bottom of your receipt. I actually have a, excuse me, I have a 40% off all Garnier facial care. So if I like this stuff, I'm going to stock up. Moving right along, the next items that I picked up were from Maybelline. I had a it was like three three dollars off of Maybelline and then if you bought two Maybelline products you got five dollar reward bucks so <laughs> on the next purchase the first one is I had to replenish my Maybelline instant age rewind concealer I am in uh, why do I, always drop stuff? I am in the shade light pale this is my holy grail concealer fight me and then I have heard so many people talk about this stuff and so I finally checked I'm finally gonna check it out it is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in the shade Molten Rose Gold. All right, let's open this up and swatch it. There was one that was like just a straight up gold, but I think that might be a little too dark for my pale tail. I love swatching stuff, but I also hate to ruin the cute pattern. All right, let's see. Oh, that feels very, very nice. It's not cute anymore. All right. Oh, okay. I ain't mad at it. Okay, reflection, come through. There's some serious, serious glow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not mad at this at all. I'm going to be testing this stuff out this week. And I'll give you my thoughts on it. Probably comment down below or check out my Instagram. It's at the makeup underscore broad and I will talk a little bit more about my experience with these products over there. All right, next up, I picked up some Milani. They were buy one, get one half off. So I, everything that I got from Milani today is brand new. I've never used these products. I don't have any really good contour stuff that I really like. So this, I, if, if this is not new, you can correct me in the comments down below, but I had not seen it before. It is the new Milani Contour and Highlight Cream and Liquid Duo. And it is the light natural shade. All right, so the contour is a cream contour. It has a, a bullet applicator. And then the liquid highlighting liquid has a doe foot applicator. So, all right, this is the contour shade. I'm sorry guys, this is just the finger that I use. Okay, I think that blends out pretty nicely. You guys can't see. Sorry, it's cloudy. I think this blends out rather nicely. Um, it's not too dark. I don't think it looks too muddy or too orange. 
So we'll definitely check that out. And then the liquid highlighting side. I'm thinking this is gonna be like, I'm thinking highlighting like highlighting with concealer, not like an actual glow highlight. I would be incorrect on that. That definitely has a sheen to it. All right, well, let's see if this has a shade. If this says, it just says light natural. Highlighting contour duo. The next Milani product that I got is the Moisture Lock. It is coconut oil infused. I've never used this stuff before. I've been looking for a nice lip treatment because I don't care how much chapstick how, or how many times I do lip scrubs, my lips just, they just stay dry. Oh my God, that's like sunshine on my lips. Can't wait to give this a try. Hopefully my lips will be nice and luxuriously moisturized. All right, then finally, this was in the new section, so I don't know how new it was because sometimes our drugstores, new means two years ago. But I picked up the Milani Stay Put Brow Pomade in the shade Brunette. I just can't keep buying the brow whizzes. They're, they're great, don't get me wrong, it's a wonderful product, but. I got some thick eyebrows, or I prefer a thicker eyebrow, and frankly, it just was using up too much product. And I tried the Anastasia Brow Gel. I don't like it. It's, uh, there's nothing wrong with the product. I just, I don't have a light enough hand for the application. So, I've been using brow powders, but I wanted to try something that takes up less space and is more compact. So, Oh, it's a pencil? Uh, did that say that it was a pencil and I missed it? I read pomade. I'm an idiot. I read pomade thinking it was going to be more like a, like a, a gel, like almost like a gel eyeliner pen. Anyway, it's a pencil, so we'll... I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Can you guys see that? I don't know. This might flop completely. I, it might be a little bit too red. I don't know. I'll use it in a, and I'll put a little review up on my Instagram account. I don't know. Let's check out. I am a fan. I am a fan of this spoolie though. So maybe not all it's lost. Okay, and then the last brand that I picked up some products from, I'm actually planning to do, this is a rather new release. I mean, it's been out for a couple months, but it's a new release for this brand. And I was, been checking our local drugstores and finally came across it today. I'm going to do a full face featuring Burt's Bees. Um, this company, as far as I can tell, has always just been into lip products and a little bit of skincare. And so, when I saw that they were coming out with a makeup line, I wanted to try it and see if it was worth it. And frankly, this is on the high end of the drugstore pricing. I picked up a foundation, a powder foundation. These were both $16.69. I picked up a blush, picked up a blush and an eye, eyeshadow trio, and I believe these were both, I believe this was $12, no, I believe one of these was 12 and one of these was nine. I, I think this was 12 and this was nine, but don't quote me on that. I'll get more into that in the, in a dedicated video to these two. And then I picked up a lipstick, which was $8. Let's just swatch this and see. I mean, it's not a ton of pigment, but I mean, again, this was probably the cheapest product that I got from Burt's Bees, so we'll dive into that more in a later video. But um, yeah, so they kind of have a high price tag for a drugstore, or at least they're right on up there with um, Almay and 
L'Oreal, who's gotten real proud of their products. But anyway, that is my drugstore haul for today. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you picked up at the drugstore this week. And make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and turn on my post notifications so that you will know when I post my Burt's Bees review. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!